How's it going everyone? Back with another video and today I'm going to remove this, the cow. And the reason for that is because I received this. Yes, more carbon fiber. It's a carbon fiber cow. Um, the old one that I have, it's all faded and I don't want to just paint it something uh, like black and make it regular. I want to make it unique, just like my car build. And so what I'm going to do is remove all these, remove all this, uh, the wiper arms. Let me zoom out so I can get a better view. Remove all this and step by step process. Um, if you ever decide to remove this, just a video of how to how to do this. But since I'm doing this, I'm going to swap mine out. Um, one thing I did notice is that one of my wiper, you have to be very careful because a lot of these break. Um, the hoses do break, these do break. Um, before even attempting to do this, make sure you can find some extra, maybe at like your local auto parts store, uh, some extra uh, holders for right here. And always inspect um, all your lines because a lot of these break too. I think on this one, um, I forgot which line uh, for the wiper fluid um, is broken. I think it's this one. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna take this off first. If you can't hear me, because it's very, very windy. So, uh, and so what I'm gonna use, I got this off Amazon. I don't know the, the actual part number for this, but you're gonna need one of these to uh, take off the, the wiper blades. Um, and then I have different like angled um, like interior pieces to remove uh, the interior tools because they're di different at an angle I'm going to see which ones actually works best but I've all these and then the marker obviously to mark where the uh, where the wiper arms go and go from there so what you want to do is mark mark this as much as possible I know it's kind of difficult but I'm gonna see if I can even mark it and hopefully it'll align again with the marker. And I believe there's a 14 mil. I'm gonna confirm that in a sec. All right, so, so this is a 13 millimeter bolt. So I was able to take this out with one of these tools. And what I did was I popped it up. And the moment I popped it up, I started twisting the, twisting the plastic piece from this one right here. So I ended up popping it first and then I started twisting it so I wouldn't damage it. So this is the way, this is what it looks like. So if you go to your like O'Reilly's or something and then you break these, probably find one that's matching like this it probably doesn't have to be that deep um it doesn't look like it goes down there that, that far but as long as you get somewhere in that right length so this one came out good so i'm going to start taking out the rest of them um this side panel right here um you're going to get a flathead screwdriver um i can't get i have no, i don't have another person right right now currently to to film me when i'm doing this but you're going to pop these out and these have a, um, these have like little clips on each side. So change of, change of plans. So instead of using the flathead screwdriver, I use this to pry it up. And if you can see, it has this little pin, or not a pin, but a like a little clip on one side, and this slides in. So this is gonna go in like that, and it's gonna slip in. And what you're gonna find is, I'm gonna lower the hood a little bit. There's a bolt. There's gonna be a bolt. If I can zoom it, please. Right there. It's a, I believe it's a seven, seven mil bolt. I'm gonna confirm that in a second. So I'm gonna do that on the other side, and I'll be right back. So how how I use this tool to take out the the wiper arms is I pull. 
pull the pull the, uh, the rod all the way up to the top so it hits all the way up here and what you want to do is put the little arms underneath here this is the way i pull it pulled it out so once you have it you're going to tighten this up all the way as far as you can tighten it up so it can so it won't uh, budge and all you're going to do is twist it so right now i already twisted it off and it already popped out but there's going to be a lot of pop don't be don't be afraid because that's what it's going to do see how it I have to loosen this up because the arms are already closed all the way so keep loosening it up loosening it up and see so you're gonna what you want to do is put these underneath go underneath there you can get it around here this is that this tool specifically works for this model like i said i don't have the part number for it fortunately but if you look at an, a design like this it'll it'll work here for for this for this impala and there's other ones that I, I think i have another one that i bought from like amazon that um uh that did not fit because of the curve here but like this style fits so if you find one at your auto parts store and it looks like somewhat this design this will work so i'm going to do this to the other side at the same same process i'm going to pull this out this is already loose so now that i have all the the both wipe the wiper arms i'm going to continue to remove these screws i mean the screws these little plastic holders right here and th this one right here is a seven mil i'm going to use a quarter inch and this will fit perfectly inside of here um so I'm gonna start doing this for now and then I'll report back if see if any issues occur. But so far, straightforward. So, so, so far only one has given me trouble and it's back here i'm going to take it up when i have a chance so now that you've taken the seven mil screws on each side it's all it's all loose so now what you want to do is take the same um, the same tool i'm going to use it right here and you're going to take the weather strip off and then down here you're going to see bolts if you can camera can pick it up so these i think there are four a total of four so there's one two where is the third three and then the fourth one's over there it's the same size it's a seven mil bolt but right now i'm going to take this off
This is the driver's side. This is gonna go right here. I can get the camera a second. So this is gonna go on top of here and it's gonna hold it. And does a passenger side have one? Let me check. Passenger side does not have one, so it's only the driver's side that has one. All right, and then one more thing I just noticed too, because I'm recording for real time. It's gonna need uh, screwdrivers. So there, one, so you're gonna need one, two in the middle, and everything should be able to be popped out after that. And of course, I'm gonna clean all this too. So yeah, I'll be right back. Subject. This is the driver's side, it just goes in here. Honestly, the, the only thing that's holding it down is that body clip, the one that, I mean that rubber piece. So I'm gonna take this off live. So, let's see what it looks like. And right now it's getting, I have to disconnect that. The lines. So I'm gonna have to, unfortunately, I have to put the camera down. And I have to disconnect this. I don't want to break it. I'm gonna come in with a, um, like a pick or something and take it off. So I found one of these little picks. What I'm gonna do is gently, these are brittle, let's go around the edge. And now, so now I'm twisting it. I was able to free it. So I'm twisting it. See, I'm able to twist the line now that it's free. So I'm gonna just gently, I know the camera angle probably sucks, but. So I'm twisting it. Twisting it slowly, slowly. You don't want to break these. Be as gentle as possible. It's coming. And I got it. So I was able to twist it off and it didn't break. So this is the driver's side. And I'm gonna transfer this. Obviously this is broken. That little piece there. Place that. So, I'm gonna take out the other side. And this is what it looks like. Obviously, I'm gonna clean all this up. It's been on here for like 25 years. And on this side, I've got one screw. Or one bolt right here. All right, so this side's easier. This doesn't have anything. This is the passenger side. This is the passenger side. This is what it looks like underneath. Just has a little clip. So the only thing I have to transfer over is that. But if you already have this piece, all you're doing is just um, putting everything back together. But since mine's a custom piece, I'm gonna have to transfer this over. And unfortunately, I'm gonna see if I can get I mean, ground this little piece down so I can put the the hose back in and everything should be fine, hopefully. So yeah, so this is what it looks like underneath, about 20 years, all the gunk. We'll clear this out. Sorry, car just passed by. It's a little bit of rust form in here, here near the ocean, so it's not that bad, just right here. Surface rust, surface rust, there's dirt. So I'm gonna clean this all up. Send down and check this out. It's so cool. Holy shit. This thing's amazing. It makes the engine bay, I mean, the engine bay is completely dirty. I'm gonna have to clean this all one day and then take another picture of it or video, but check that out. That's only one side. Right now I'm about to transfer over this hose from the driver's side. 
And what I did here too, since this little piece broke, I cut that open again. See right there? There was like a little plastic piece inside. Hopefully, hopefully, I will be able to slide this, the two back inside. But I'm gonna transfer this over right now. It's literally just putting the bolts back together. Everything flipped on perfectly. There's no issues here, nothing. The bolts are going back in the normal spot. Man, that looks cool. All right, I'm about to put the other side in. It's getting cold. I'm about, I wanna finish this up fast. This out. How cool is that? And I guess, and I know the engine bay is completely dirty, but just imagine when everything's finally uh, clean. Look how amazing that looks. So yeah, I literally did this, the exact same process. I just reversed it. I put all the bolts back together. Um, but yeah, man, shout, shout out to uh, Junk GTP. That's the one who, who builds all my, he also built my interior for my carbon fiber dash, um, the complete set. I mean the complete thing. I sent it to him. Uh, man, go give him a follow. I'm gonna give him the link in the description below and on his Instagram. But check that out. How cool is that? I mean, once everything's, once I clean up the engine bay, I'll take a picture. But man, this thing's amazing. All right. Yeah. So that was a pretty, inst pretty much a easy install. It didn't take me that long. Just learning how to be careful. I think most. Of if I could take anything away from it, just be careful on the bolts and the little plastic retainer, um, retainer clips. Um, but yeah, man, this thing looks amazing. It's not even cleaned up yet. I wish you guys can actually see how, how pretty this looks in, in the real life, but I can't capture it on camera. This thing's amazing. We still got for me, uh, a couple more things I'm going to do, change the, the hood liner. It's all beat up. Uh, I, I'm gonna power wash this thing, not power wash, but I'm gonna clean everything on this engine. But yeah, man, shout out to Junk GTP. He's going by a new name, it's called the uh, Carbon Works. Um, this is his new logo, he sent me this cool sticker and put it on the car. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna link in the description below, man. I, I, I appreciate certain people that come into my life that are actually good, honest people, and he's one of them. Um, he's always taking the time to uh, let me know what's possible, what's not possible. Um, but yeah, shout out, shout out to Eric for uh, helping me out with this. Uh, but yeah, definitely go uh, support him. He is getting very, very popular and his times are getting limited. This took me a while and I was understandable. And I mean, this, I sent this back to him maybe December, early December, and I just got it in. So he's getting really popular. If you guys want work done, contact him as soon as possible so yeah he, he can actually get a good time frame for him and be patient with him because and he is working by himself and he's doing all these pieces uh custom custom made for you but man huge shout out to to eric but yeah that's gonna wrap up today's video hope everyone enjoys it like comment and subscribe thanks guys